Hello, sports fan, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke. Today, we have a real treat for you. This is Game 7 of Round 2 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs between the Minnesota North Stars visiting the St. Louis Blues. So, um, let me get this, uh, let me turn the sound down. And let's get this uh, exciting seventh game underway. Now, as usual, I will, uh, at, at times I may uh, move ahead in the action where appropriate. And I may even move ahead to the end of the game if there is a blowout one way or the other and the other team cannot probably possibly come back. But... Let's hope that it's an exciting game and it keeps everybody on the edge of their seats for the entire time. And, uh, and it's, you know, I mean, you always want to see an exciting game. It always makes it better. And the uh, Blues have won the faceoff and start off with the puck. Uh, Lowry has it. And uh, this is going to be Curtis Joseph in net for uh, St. Louis and John Casey for us. We get the puck back, and so now Jim Johnson has it for Minnesota. And we have a player for a shot, and I'm going to take it to Bellows. Yeah, that's fine. And Bellows is inside, got an inside shot. And that's going to be saved by Joseph and a, sa and a, a face off to Joseph's left. So, 19 minutes left in the uh, first period, just underway here. Uh, Minnesota with a one shot to nothing lead, but no, no goal for anybody. And Scott Stevens comes away with it off the face off in the Blues end. And we have another player for a shot. I'm going to go with uh, Madonna. Possible penalty. And there is a penalty, and it's probably on him, I'm going to say. Yeah, probably. And it is. Gino Cavallini is going to the box for the Blues. So we're going to be up a man here at the 1827 mark of the first period, with again, a face off to Joseph's left. And what do we got? Oh, we've got a Madonna has an outside shot. I'm gonna try to pass it. And it looks like he lost the puck. Yep, he did. So now Rich Suter has it for uh, St. Louis. And he failed to skate, so we're going to take over possession, it looks like. I would think, anyway. And uh, player for the shot, Gagne, I'll give it to him because he's uh, multi-talented. He could try to penetrate inside or pass. And I will try to pass with him. Inside shot for any player. Nice. And that is going to be Madonna. So Wilson trying to take him down. Not successful. So Madonna is inside for an inside shot. That's a five. It's going to be a save. And then the defensive right defenseman comes up with it for St. Louis. And that is Jack Brown. And he has the puck. He failed to skate, though, so we should have it again. There is a minute 50 left in the uh, in the penalty to Cavallini. And, uh, yeah, Gagne, I'll give it to him again. We can do some other different things with him. He can try to go inside. He could try to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to try to penetrate with him, and he failed to do it. 
And Minnesota controlling, though. Madano has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he can't do it either. We can't get inside. We just cannot get a good shot off on Joseph. Not so far, anyway. And Ron Wilson comes away with the puck for St. Louis. 18.07 left in the first period. And what do we got going on there? Oh, we got another action required. And they successfully skate with the puck. And they successfully skate, and they have a breakaway, it looks like. Ron Wilson does. And he does have a breakaway shot on Casey, and that's going to be a save, and uh, it'll go to our right wing. And, but there is only 27 seconds left, so if we're going to start mounting an attack here, one last attack on this power play, it's got to be quick, and Bellows will have an outside shot. And that's a save by uh, Joseph. And the right defenseman comes away with it. Jeff Brown and the penalty to St. Louis is over. So we were unable to capitalize on our first power play of the game. Hopefully there will be more. And uh, we got Bobby Smith in possession of the puck for us. 15.07 left. We're out shooting St. Louis 3-1, to one, but there is no score yet. And Cavallini broke inside. Paul Cavallini this time. And that's going to be a save, and the defensive center will take the puck. So our center, and that's going to be Bobby Smith. No, it's going to be Barazan now. I guess there was a line change. So at the 14.26 mark, no score. And we are out shooting St. Louis 3-2 to two on the road in St. Louis. And now Basil McRae has it for us. 13.58 left. And Tomlinson is going to have an outside shot for them. And that's going to be a save. And the left defenseman takes the puck. That'll be uh, Neil Wilkinson, who again, his name never appears over on the other side on our uh, lineup board over here. I don't know why. And then Bellows, he fed Bellows and he's got an inside shot and that's a rebound. Let's see if we can get the rebound. Yep, we can. And Wilkinson has it. That's not good because he's probably not very good. So uh, that was another save and by... Um, by uh, Cujo, and now Lowry has the puck for the Blues. And, uh, well, he lost the puck. And what's going on here with the penalty? Poss there is a penalty. Who's it on? It is on them, Glenn Featherston. So he's going to the box, and we have another power play. That's the second one this period. 12.39 remaining. Of course, we weren't able to capitalize on the first one and only really got maybe a shot or two on the first one. So let's see if we can do a little better this time. Dolan has an outside shot option. I am going to try to penetrate with Dolan, and he does. So it's going to be all Dolan inside. And that's a save defensive left defenseman. So Cujo is coming up big for the Blues here. And Cavallini will have the puck. Paul Cavallini, in this case, will have the puck. And it looks like he turned it over. And, uh, oh, maybe not. Well, yeah, we take control. And Dahlquist from the outside has an outside shot. That's going to be a lose to the right defenseman. So the right defenseman for them has the puck. We're out shooting. We're out shooting and out playing St. Louis, really. I mean, we're up six shots to two. 
and they've been in the box twice. We haven't been at all, but there is still no score on the board. And what do we got going on now? Okay, another. Uh, so Garth Butcher right now has a puck. It looks like he successfully skated with it. There is only 22 seconds left. So if something's going to happen, it has to happen quickly. And there's going to be a possible breakaway. And Stevens does have it a possible. He has a breakaway. Goalie rating seven. And that's going to be a goal. And they got a short-handed goal. I think. Maybe not. Maybe the penalty was just over. But anyway, they're up one nothing, one way or the other. Scott Stevens from Cavallini, from Gino Cavallini. And so now we're having the face off at center ice. And St. Louis is up in this all critical game. The, the loser goes home. The winner will advance to play the LA Kings in the, um, in the conference uh, championship, the conference final. And Brenda Moore is all by himself, and he has a shot, but that's going to be a save for the defensive center. And Bobby Smith has it. 9-14 remaining. So very, very good, very tight game. Six shots to four. We're losing one nothing, but that's not that bad. Um, Gatan Duchesne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate, even though it's not very... Oh, it worked. Okay, so Deshane inside. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away with the puck. And that will be Scott Stevens in this particular case. So let's see if we can mount something here. I mean, you know, we're not out of it yet. I mean, it's only one nothing, so obviously... Jim Johnson from inside. I don't think that's going to bode well for us at all. But there's a save for um, by uh, Joseph, and their center will have the puck. That's Meager in this particular case. Rick Meager has the puck, and he falls to the ice. And Basil McRae took it away and will have an outside shot. But that's the save, and they have any player. They can give it to anyone. And they give it to Jeff Brown, of all people. 7.35 remaining. Minnesota losing one nothing. And we got the puck back. Brian Glenn with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save right wing. And if I haven't mentioned it, this is game seven of round two. So the loser goes home. The winner goes on. That's how it works. And uh, we get the puck back from uh, Hull. And so now Brian Bellows has it. And there's a line change for us for sure. Featherston has the puck for St. Louis. And player for the shot, Brian Prop. Yeah, I'll do Brian Prop. And Brian Prop's inside for an inside shot, 10. And that's going to be a save left wing. So the St. Louis left wing will come away with it. That's Gino Cavallini. So we're out shooting and out playing the Blues, but they are outscoring us. one nothing. And Featherston has the puck for St. Louis. 4.49 in the first period. And Neil Wilkinson with an outside shot, and that's going to be a save left wing. 
And how about the fact that hockey is back now? Hockey in real life, the NHL, is starting their play-in round. Um, well, actually, they actually it's not a play-in round. They're, I guess it's really the, the playoffs now. Because there used to be a setup where the NHL was going to do like a, uh, a seeding for the top four teams in each conference. And then the rest of the teams would play in against each other to see who made the real playoffs. But I saw that that isn't what they're doing now. They're not doing the um, seeding rounds. And Tenorti with an outside shot that is saved by Curtis Joseph. So it looks like it's they're considering it all to be the playoffs. Like, for instance, the Islanders, I know as an Islanders fan, I um, was uh, under the impression they were going to play the Florida Panthers, but now they're actually playing the New York Rangers. And uh, let's see, player for the shot? Yeah, I guess Mike Craig. I mean, we don't have a lot of good options on that line. And Mike Craig inside. Eight, that's a rebound. Let's see if we can get it. Nope. Defensive left defenseman comes up with it. And that's going to be Scott Stevens of St. Louis. There's 232 left in the first period. We are out shooting them. This is crazy. We're out shooting them 15 to 4, but they're outscoring us 1 0. I'm just going to shoot with Jim Johnson because he doesn't really have much of a chance of doing much of anything. That's a nine, and that's going to be a lose to the left wing. So St. Louis is a little, um, oh no, right wing. So that is uh, Brett Hull, and he will have the puck, and there's going to be a penalty, and it looks like maybe on Bellows. Yep, so Bellows is going to the box for two minutes. And we really did not need that. It'll be most of the most of the penalty will be served at the end of this period, and then it'll spill over for about 12 seconds into the second period. But we really did not need that. I mean, really didn't. Jeff Brown has it for the Blues, and Quinn Dan Quinn will have an outside shot. He gets the rebound. And that's going to be uh, Minnesota gets it. So we got it. Kurt Giles with the puck. 104 left in the period. And they get an inside shot by Jeff Brown. That's a five. That's a uh, save right wing. So our right wing will have it. That's Neil Broughton. 29 seconds left in the period. We're out shooting 15-6, but we're still down one nothing. And Cavallini worked his way inside. That's eight. That's going to be a rebound. And any offensive player that's a two or better, and that's Hull. That's a ten. That's a goalie rating. That's a five. That is a save either defenseman. So big save there by Casey. He saves our butt on that one. And that's going to be the end of the first period. So we go to the second, down one nothing, And they've actually even made the shots kind of uh, decent now. It's 15 to 8. And Brett Hull with the puck. Uh, Mark Tenorti has a chance to intimidate Oates at 50%. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes on that. But it doesn't work, and Oates is inside. For a shot, that's going to be a five, and it is a score, and they're up 2 nothing. Now, not that I consider that to be a blowout, but it's getting uh, it's getting dicey now. So, face off at center ice, we're down 2 0. 1938 left in the second period.
and Garth Butcher comes up with the puck for St. Louis, who is in the definite command seat right now. But there is still nearly two periods left, so not time to get down. But Dave Lowry has an inside shot. He gets a rebound, and defensive right defenseman will get the puck. So we do get the puck off the rebound. Jim Johnson has it. And I will try to intimidate at 75%. And there will be another, let's see. Looks like they're going to get the puck back. Yep, Butcher, or no, Jeff Brown now. I guess they had a line change. Outside shot for right wing. And they they tried to penetrate to get a better shot, and they didn't. So we've now got it. Gatan Duchesne has it. 16.51 left in the second period. We lose the puck, and they have an outside shot only for Suter. And that's going to be goalie rating and a five, which is a save either defenseman. And I will give it to Glenn, which is what I did last time we had a save and either defenseman. Same exact roles. So Glenn now has it. 16.07 left. And Meager with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save. Anybody, and I will give it to Basil McRae, who is across from a C, and that's the best. That's the worst, uh, like, penalty rating guy that they have. Like, as in, you know, the biggest goon. So, uh, but Glenn loses the puck, and there's an outside shot for the right wing. Oh, it's an outside shot for us. No, I guess he passed it. And so now Craig has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with Craig, and it does not work at all. And now Dave Lowry has it for St. Louis. 14.56 left in the second period. We have an outside shot, though, by Dolan. Eight, that's a rebound. Let's see if we can get it. Nope, their right defenseman will scoop in and get it. And that's Mario Marwa. And Featherston has an inside, he has a breakaway basically, six, and that's going to be a save left defenseman. So Casey is playing fairly good, although he has allowed two goals, but both have been on really on uh, breakaways. So Neil Wilkinson has it for us. I am going to try to intimidate at 35%, and it doesn't work. And um, Dan Quinn is inside seven goalie rating three is save any forward. And prop, yes, because he's across, mainly because he's across from a B, but also he's a good stick handler, so, or a puck handler with the stick. And uh, I'm going to say no, I'm not going to try to intimidate at 25%. And that's going to be to save anyone, and I will give it to Dahlquist because he's across from an A penalty. Uh, and then just as I say that, I think they made, did they make lines? Maybe they did. Maybe it was us. Inside shot for the left wing. And that's going to be... Bob Basson, and he scores, and it's 3 nothing. 
now we are in some trouble. We got a little, we got some problems here now. As we are losing 3 nothing. And that was Bob Basson from Scott Stevens and the face off at center ice. So we have, uh, we're down three nothing now. This is not a good situation. 1248 left in the second period. And, uh, Scott Stevens with the puck. And Johnson had, what was that, an outside shot? All right, so we have Perry Berzan with an out, with an outside shot. I am going, well, yeah, might as well make it him. He'll have an outside shot. That's a goalie rating, and that's a six. And that's a goal! Are you kidding me? Barazan from the outside scores. Unbelievable. Now it's two to one. Or three to one. Three to one. So we're still down by two. But there is a period and a half left. A little over a period and a half. So Basil McCray now has the puck. But Brett Hull takes it away from him. And I was just gonna say on that on that Barazan outside shot that he had one like back I think in the Chicago series. He had an outside shot that he scored on. Uh yeah, I'm gonna the thirty percent I'll take the chance. And he couldn't take it away, so Dave Lowry inside, 11. That's going to be a save right defenseman. And Kurt Giles has the puck. Loses the puck, and there's an inside shot. Intimidation for the right wing. Yeah, we're going to try. Can't take it away, so Brett Hull has an inside shot. That's an 11 goalie rating, 9. That's a goal, 18. That's going to be a goal. All right, I'm going to go ahead. To, I mean, it's 4-1 to one right now. This is really looking, I hate to say this, but it's really looking very bad for us. So I'm going to move ahead to like, um, really, I'm going to move ahead to the start of the third period. So game, quick play, um, end of the second period. And the score is five to one. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. You finished. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? So, I'm only gonna play probably a little bit here unless we get a goal or two really quickly. And then I'm gonna like quick play it to the end of the third because I don't see this being a good re end result for the uh, Minnesota North Stars. But we do wanna play at least part of the third period, give you a little action to look at. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it, it bodes very well for us. Two minute penalty and that's for Tenorti. So the Blues will have a two minute power play on top of everything at the 1859 mark. 
And uh, we even have, they even put in Brian Hayward, and they might as well. I mean, I don't know that it really matters. Let's see if he can help us come back. I doubt it. Now, what would be really funny is if I were to quick play it to like two minutes left and we were only down by a goal or we had tied it. But I, I again, I don't see that happening really. Barizan can't stop him from coming inside. And Jeff Brown is inside with an eight. That's a rebound. And uh, I don't know. Minnesota got it. So, yeah, Kurt Giles comes away with the puck. Jeff Brown inside. That's going to be left wing. So our left wing comes away with it. That's Barazan. And now you've noticed that they've taken the lead also in shots. They're ahead 25-21 now when we were uh, smoking them in, uh, in shots. And they tried to penetrate inside and they couldn't. And now Brian Prop has the puck. 16.09 left now. And Brindamore has an outside shot. That's going to be a six, and it'll be a saved left defenseman. And that's Brian Glynn. Glynn is going to pick up the puck for us. And they took it away, but they tried to get inside and they couldn't. Fifteen oh one left now. And that's gonna be uh Giles with the option to intimidate. I will say yes. And he did get it back, so now um Jim Johnson has the puck for us. They took away the puck and they have an outside shot. They pass, they're passing it, and it's going to be an inside shot for Oates on Hayward. And that will be a save to the right wing. And 1424 left. I'll play a couple, I'll do a couple more shifts here, or a shift, and then. We're going to fast forward to the end of the game or near the end of the game and then see what happens. Gino Cavallini comes up with the puck for St. Louis. There's a penalty. And that's going to be on Madonna. So now, and we're also the ones now spending most of the time in the box. So face off with 13.23 left in the game. And let's see, looks like maybe Steven, yeah, they've got it. 13-14 left. I'm going to zoom ahead, quick play to two minutes in the third. And the score is 5-2 to two now, but still, we're down by three goals with a minute 51 left. So I still don't see that being advantageous for us. We need three goals in a minute 51, which is not likely to happen, even with this team as good as it is. Looks like Cavallini has the puck for St. Louis. And Quinn with an outside shot on Hayward. That's a three. It's going to be a save right defenseman. So Giles has it. Now there is only 47 seconds left in the game. Thirty percent intimidate, yes. And Doug Schmale has it. Thirteen seconds left.
outside shot for left wing. I'll just take it. It doesn't really matter. That's goalie rating six, which is a goal. It's 5-3. <laughs> really? I mean, but still, we need two goals in less than 13 seconds. So, I still don't see that happening. And that is it. So, we did lose the game 5-3. I, I would say a valiant effort, but really it wasn't. And uh, the stars of the game were Scott Stevens, Brett Hall, and Curtis Joseph. For St. Louis. And so St. Louis will advance to play the Kings in the conference final for our conference, which I'm calling the Western Conference, but it really wasn't at the time. And um, I will post those results once I have played all of the playoffs and the Stanley Cup. I'm just going to give the final results of who won. It won't be the real team that won the Stanley Cup because we just got eliminated and we were in the Stanley Cup in real life this year. And the Penguins were the ones that beat the North Stars in real life and they have also been eliminated. But I will post a video later on that tells exactly what happened, how it finished up. And other than that, for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.